Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. We're doing your 8 to the 14. This is your weekly Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. If you are a mom, happy Mother's Day. And if you are single, baby mama, daddy, happy Mother's Day also. Okay. Yep, this is for the Aquarian. I'm pretending my book is not here. <laughs> my book is right there. <laughs> Anyhow, trying to lighten up the energy. This um, Taurus season, I think it's too serious and too intense. For an Earth sign, I don't understand. Okay. It's like intense would be Scorpio time. But intense and not in a different way. So if you're dealing with the Taurus Aquarian, I feel for you. I'll just say. <laughs> oh, it's a different intense because I don't there's no cups in the reeds right now. Okay, just letting you know. It's like a drought. Okay, it's like a drought. I don't know where it is. We're all looking for that cups, but I don't know where it is. Oh, I'm just letting you know. Here we go. It's more of structure, of course. It's their time. You know, I'm gonna stop babbling about the season because I'm never gonna stop. No. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You have here the star card. Yay! That's your card. First prize, apple pie, homemade pie, bust and cream pie. This is what you're having. You won. You won. This is what you're saying here. Mm -hmm. Bake sale. Okay. You got it. Guided towards this person. Destiny brought to you to this person. This reading is brought to you by the pie. Okay. So it's very good. Okay. Um, intuition wise you can trust yourself this is what you're looking at the situation um, there is destiny at work of course so it means you know Coachella when the three you know the three destiny child already came back again so it was meant you know something was meant and you made a good performance I'm messing with you Aquarius but it's very good this energy is very very happy which is good that's why I'm trying to get that energy for you guys uh -huh. um, this is 17 so seventh house partnership chances are Ah, oh, because uh, I'm an Aquarian right now. Chances are the person you've met is the one. Okay. Whatever. Let's go. Let's keep it going, guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, be careful. Okay. Because you know how people associate the one. There's the one that can hurt you. There's the one that will make you happy. Okay. So, associate with yourself. is like, what is really this the one? Okay. Just saying. Okay. So identify that energy here. But you're very happy, which is good. Here we go. Six of Wands, mm -hmm. celebrity status, hello. Star with the Six of Wands, yeah. People are watching you. This is your energy here. People are drawn to you. People wanna talk to you. I'm sorry if I'm going on a zone because I'd rather go in a zone than stay with the Taurus season. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so we can get a different feel. Okay, so people are drawn to you. People want to be with you. You're getting a lot of offer. You're successful. You're you're on top of your game, Aquarian here. People are in awe. Okay, the way that you handle your yourself, prime. You know, you're talking about the first day of release of Infinity Wars, box office. You are box office. Six hundred million. You know, not even the the Marvel whatever the other one is, the DC whatever. So nobody can, nobody can replace you. This is what I'm sensing here, Aquarius. Nobody. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> King of Wands. You could be connecting with the fire sign here, but if you have a fire in your chart, still the same energy. Drawn to you. You're an action taker. You're interesting because you're a shaker over here. You know how? What's that saying? Shakers and movers. You're this type of energy here. Who's this person that you're connecting with? Because I feel they're not there. This is just you. That's what I'm sensing here. Uh, I don't see the other person. It's just you are reaching a part of your life where it's almost like stardom or success and drive. And it's like nothing that you cannot, nothing that you touch, like, you know, like anything that you touch, you can achieve it, Aquarian. I don't know what's going on in your chart though, because this is good. It means you're aligned with something here, with a star card. It's like you are in the right place at the right time. You are where you're supposed to be. That's why I told you, when your card is here, then the first one especially, that's strong. Wheel of Fortune, sheesh. Look at that. You play it, you win it. You know, you're up for it, you gain. The more you risk, the more you can gain over here. 
If it's a fire sign, you have nothing to worry with this person. Okay, it's just like you're irreplaceable. So what are they thinking? All right, you got the wheel of fortune. You have the star card. You have the six of wands. Um, fix. This is a fated event. You have destiny and faith over here. Okay. Like seriously, it's like what? What do you want? This is what they're saying. It's like what else can you want, Aquarian? Okay. Because things are just going the way it's supposed to. Financial wise, you know, I do, of course, like I read first, you know, love and soulmate relationship. But this is an energy where things are at work in your favor. Everything is just going well and doing good. That's good. It's good. If I were you, I would gamble right now. I'm not just saying, okay, that's not the guy itself. That's me. That's me. That's never good. Okay, that's house of losses. <laughs> You have your page of wands, okay? So there is an energy where you could be connecting with someone who's younger, of course, and you're the more mature one with the king of wands. The page of wands energy is this person, um, I have to say, they're dumb, okay? Well, that's how, that's how it is here. <laughs> the one that you're connecting with, they're not as smart as you are. They're not as smart as, as, they're just not smart. That's what I'm sensing here. I don't know what they're doing though because they're not smart. <laughs> because you're here, Aquarian, enjoying life, enjoying fortune, enjoying you, okay? And this person is distant here. Vibration-wise, even like total different from you. You're connecting with someone who's total opposite of you. Total opposite. Hmm, interesting. Because this opposite energy with this person, okay, I feel here like they're making, you know how they make a mole, is it a mole out of an anthill, a mountain out of an anthill, something out of an anthill, like, something like that. That's it. Yeah, mole out of an anthill, mm. yeah, something like that, the person that you're connected with, Aquarian. It's almost like Aquarian, I mean, I know you guys are very smart, but they're like, duh, duh, duh. and I don't mean that in a condescending way. But they're really did did it. Who is this person and why do you want to be with this person if they're did did it? Can be a, you know, this can be a, <laughs> I'm just saying, this can be another Aries, Leo, or Sag here, or a fixed sign, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. This person probably has left you, and when they left you, because this page of one is going away, things work out for your for yourself over here. So someone left. Someone move, someone distance himself, and then things work out in your favor. Like things are just energetically moving on and being good. Okay? I'm not even sure if you want this person because it's like, you're doing well, Aquarian. You're doing well. Okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna continue this reading, guys. That's how far this goes. Because you're doing awesome, you're doing well, everything is just doing fine. Okay? I'm gonna continue this reading with the four points. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you guys again. Bye-bye.